I really enjoy water collection, but water collection also comes with the drawback that sometimes it collects too much. And if you don't have the right overflow, um, it will become a mess right around where your foundation is. So typically how you do these, you just slice off your gutter and then you put something underneath it. Traditionally you see a rain barrel, 55 gallon. This is a 275 that then kind of squirts out liquid. I fill up the other bottles uh, within the gardens. I'll do a, a, a more, a larger video on that. But specifically for this one, given that the roof is a large area, it can very quickly uh, overwhelm the capacity of, of whatever you're collecting in. Um, and especially when you're not around or you're at work, you can see what the forecast is and what does a half of inch of rain or what does one inch of rain mean uh, for your roof in the way that it is collecting off of it for your rain barrel. It's really good to have that sort of gauge uh, because in this case, I don't have an overflow on this. So any overflow in this is gonna go right into the foundation. That can be a huge issue, especially if, if you already have foundation issues and it's gonna get into the house. So I'm quite picky when we do have those rain days where we're gonna have a lot of rain um, because I wanna know how much rain I need to then be concerned about overflow onto the container. So it's really handy to have a rain gauge uh, for these sorts of things. So in this case, yesterday was definitely a lot more water than I expected. It's about a little over two and a half inches of rain. Um, and it kept coming in waves uh, throughout a 24 hour period. Thankfully it wasn't too much at night, but I did for the most part pick when I needed to let water out. If you can see there's where the line is and when I needed to collect. So uh, halfway through the day yesterday, I let out the water until the middle uh, and then I let it go the rest of the night for the other inch or so. So pretty much what's coming off of my roof based on my rain gauge that I was using, that two inches is what will fully fill this. And yesterday about two and over, a little bit over two and a half inches came out. So I had to get rid of, I think one bar worth uh, to 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 in, in order for enough more to come out that the more that came in was not going to overflow it. So if you are going to do rain collection, be wary of how much you're going to collect and definitely get a rain gauge to get an idea of what the weather forecast is saying and then measure it against your gauge and then figure that out according to your collection barrel uh, to get a better idea of when you want to collect. Because the last thing you want to do is keep that open all night and release it because you're afraid of it being overflowed when in reality it was not going to. So the rain gauge has definitely helped me get an idea of how much can be collected in here and I compare that against the weather forecast to give me a little more confidence that I can collect and not have to drain.